You can use the file pull down menu to open a file or the command control X control F to find a new file. What I'm going to do is backspace actually go back a word at a time with meta B to go back to my home directory right here which is users dcooper8 and then the temp directory which exists and I hit tab for completion here and now I'll create a new file simply by typing its name and notice the directory separator here is the forward slash rather than the backward slash typical in Windows. This forward slash will be the same whether you're on Linux or a Mac or Windows. Emacs standardizes on the forward slash. Hello.txt. We'll make a simple text file. And we see that it comes up. And now I'm going to enter the words hello world into this text file. Now to save the file, I can say file save. And we see right here the command for that is control X, control S. And that's normally what I would use, control X, control S. And now the file has been written. Now notice a few things. The format for the file or the, the editing mode automatically comes up as text mode. And that shows up here in the status bar. The mini buffer tells you that it just wrote the file. And these three dashes here tell you that the file has not been modified since the last time it was written. Now I'll type some more text into this. Notice, as soon as I started typing, these asterisks appear down here. So I'm going to save again, and now these asterisks go away in order to show that the file has been saved. Now I'll do control X B to switch back to the tutorial buffer and we'll talk more about buffers in a minute. Control G remember that again. If you do control X control F then you decide that you don't really want to open a new file. Control G will simply get you out of that command. Now we'll talk a little bit about buffers. If we find a second file with control X control F the first file is still in memory in a buffer. Let's create another file called foo. So again we'll go to the, the home directory temp and I'll create a file simply called foo. I'll insert some text and we'll save that text and now I'll say control X B to switch back to the tutorial buffer. Control X control B lists all the buffers that we have open right now. See how each buffer has a name and also ha may have a file name for it. Some of these buffers don't have file names next to them, like messages and completions. Now, another way to switch to another buffer is Control X B, not Control X Control B, just Control X B. So let's switch back to the foo buffer with Control X B, and the default is foo. So that switches us back to that foo buffer. Now let's go Control X B messages, and the messages buffer is not corresponding to any file. It's just a buffer that where Emacs keeps messages in memory while it's running. A fast way to save open buffers is Control X S. Now it's telling me no files need saving. Now let's go back to the foo buffer again. And when we are finished with this buffer, we can kill the buffer with Control X K, kill buffer. So that buffer is now cleared from our buffer list. Let's visit the hello text file again. And now kill that one. Control X K. And now here we are back at the tutorial.